Okay, so there seems to be an absolute abundance of super fine gold among the clay in the banks. I mean, without digging up tons and tons of the stuff, I don't think it's payable. Being in this heavily mineralized or volcanic ground, there is definitely gold present. What I have found while I was digging around, I found a couple of little thunder eggs or geodes, and I've also just found some nice pretty little stones, like this black, I think it's obsidian, amongst the bank. I'm gonna take that home and investigate it closer. So we're gonna have a look around, see what else we can find in this pretty little place before the sun goes down. See you soon. channel i am in the beautiful tambourine mountain just enjoying a nice afternoon with my lovely little people who you guys may or may have not met before now we're just hanging out in this little creek i'm looking around i'm seeing little bits of crystal i'm seeing little bits of shiny things we're definitely gonna look around and uh, enjoy this lovely space we'll see you soon Obviously this is a beautiful little creek and it is full of absolutely everything. Obviously a lot of traveled stone. Now one thing you do have here, I know the lava runs on the mountain itself is where they find a lot of the thunderbird eggs or they find the geodes. So what they actually look for, you'll dig through the old volcanic ash, which is either fossilized or compressed I believe, and then you'll find hard pockets. Now they're actually bubbles that formed a long time ago in the lava as it cooled and inside those bubbles, they fill up with water and different minerals over time, which actually creates the geode or the thunderbird eggs. So that's a really cool little process going on. I think if I walk down this creek enough, I would probably find them just sitting on top of the creek because the ash itself wears away, leaving the really hardened mineral stones. So that's pretty cool. Let's keep going. To me like gold hang on look it's not massive but it's gold where are the big nuggets anybody know where any big nuggets are Okay, so there seems to be an absolute abundance of super fine gold amongst the clay in the banks. I mean, without digging up tons and tons of the stuff, I don't think it's payable. Being in this heavily mineralized or volcanic ground, there is definitely gold present. What I have found while I was digging around, I found a couple of little thunder eggs or geodes, and I've also just found some nice pretty little stones, like this black, I think it's obsidian, amongst the bank. I'm gonna take that home and investigate it closer. 
So we're going to have a look around, see what else we can find in this pretty little place before the sun goes. So I think I've been lucky enough, guys, to find myself a nice little piece of that compressed volcanic ash here. And it's even got a little bit of mineralization in it as well. I'll do a close-up of the stone because it's really cool. You can actually see the layers as it's cooled and also the mineralization in it. Now that can vary from a lot of things. So I couldn't tell you exactly what's in this one, but it is pretty cool just to see the process in front of me on a stone like that. So obviously this particular area is very volcanic. I mean, as we know, like there's a massive volcanic range down the east coast of Australia, and you do find a lot of this good old compressed volcanic ash. Now this kind of stone here is actually the kind of stuff that you dig in when you're looking for the Thunderbird eggs. What you'll do, you'll go through and chip away at the ground and you'll hit hard pockets. And what that is, it's actually bubbles form in the lava during the run, solidify, and then over time, they fill up with these different minerals. That's where you get such a different range of different minerals inside of what they call a Thunderbird egg or a geode. So that's pretty cool stuff right there. Um, let's keep going. So we've had a bloody awesome afternoon down here, me and the kids. Well, let's see if I can get you all in here. Thank you very much for tuning in. I hope you guys enjoyed uh, watching the video as much as I enjoyed making it. As always, please like, subscribe, leave a comment, and make sure you tell your friends about this stuff because I think the channel is really going quite well, and I got all you guys out there to thank for that. So peace out. Look at you. Look how far you've come. You faced your trauma, and you came out on the other side. And I'm sorry to get a little emotional, but there were some times there when I was really...